Yeah. I got knowledge that I get of my people, whether they black, African, Asian, Indian, Caucasian, Puerto Rican, Latin, man, a woman know what's happening. The answer is knowledge itself. But who is asking? It's love that I get of my people, whether they black, African, Asian, Indian, Caucasian, Puerto Rican, Latin, man, a woman know what's happening. The answer yeah. is knowledge itself. I tell these kids we're down to cut the blunt and pick up a book. Mic check, mic check. What's kicking, family? You're there. I'm here. I'm glad you've uh, clicked in so I can check in with you. Let's cut to the chase. You know, I, literally, for real. <laughs> uh, pretty good one, huh, guys and gals out there? All right. It's here to stay. That's it. I had uh, posted something before pertaining to uh, corporate sponsorship, and I got today's paper, and guess what? The Giants have jumped into the pool. Yes, the Giants have just named their new practice facility, and it's going to be renamed the Timex Performance Center. Uh, it's a 15-year naming uh, rights deal, reported to be about $35 million. Any way to generate some money coming in, you know how those personal seat licenses now are really taking a toll on, you know, the average fan to go on out there. It's almost like like a, a, another mortgage that you're taking out. I'm wondering if you can um, claim part of that price for these these tickets in taxes. I don't know. Maybe one of you you uh, one of you guys out there that's a very big sports aficionado fan could probably shed some light on that. But it is 15 years for 35 million that the Giants are gonna get. Uh, and this, and they're gonna put these patches over here on the left side where they had the, where they had the Super Bowl patch, on both the blue and uh, the white practice jersey. Now, uh, this was uh, this agreement came back in March at the team owner meetings, and the Giants are not the only team that's involved with this. Uh, also, the Denver Broncos, Detroit Lions, Green Bay Packers, Houston Texans, and the Tennessee Titans. All are expected to do the same thing, and I had also mentioned the Titans. <coughs> excuse me, in um, in one of my previous postings concerning the corporate logos on uniforms. Now, the NFL does not allow corporate uh, logos on the game jerseys. Yo, heaven forbid! I hope they don't do that. Please, don't don't do that. I don't want to see corporate jerseys. Look, all well and fine. That's that's great. That's great for soccer around the world. You know, I don't mind wearing one of them shirts, you know, leisure time, chilling out and whatnot with all the logos on it. But my football and basketball and baseball uniforms, no, 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 no. I, but, you know, what can I say? I don't own the teams. I don't run the teams. I'm not looking to generate any kind of revenue. I think the NFL is going about it the right way. <coughs> So when that happens, you'll see probably down the road somewhere these corporate logos on the preseason uniforms, which means that, you, as you know, that they're probably they're talking about going to 18 games. They're going to extend it another two games, uh, which means it gets rid of the two of the four games of the preseason. And, and that's my speculation. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that somewhere down the road, now that they've already allowed it on the practice jerseys, they're going to be allowing it on the preseason jerseys, not the actual NFL game jerseys, but for two. That's I'm just thinking outside the box, folks, just thinking outside the box. Now, also along with that, there's also been something that the owners have voted on, and the Giants are looking to put their logo on state lottery tickets. And they're talking to New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut about putting their logos on certain scratch-off tickets and be associated with certain uh, Giant-themed uh, prize payouts along with your money and whatnot. And so... Wow, that is, you know, they got to get some money. You know why? Because the stadium cost them $1.6 billion uh, to build. The Jets and the Giants are both sharing this. And they already get an $8 million combined sponsorship uh, from three companies. These three companies are MetLife, Verizon, and Anheuser-Busch. They've got a corner of the stadium so far. And they're looking for a fourth fourth person, a uh, fourth entity to um to put there and uh and they're they're seeking and they're seeking besides that you know besides the three to get the four they also want to name the stadium <coughs> excuse me sorry about that guys they're looking for 25 to 30 million per year for the naming rights i believe that they had somebody with the naming rights earlier this year 
I mean, earlier last year sometime when they started doing the thing about the stadium. And then you had this all this crazy financial stuff. And I'm not sure if it was an insurance company or somebody like that who was to get the naming rights for, to Giant Stadium and then had to bail out because of that. But, as I said once again, I'd like to know what's your opinion of the corporate logos now going to be authorized on practice jerseys. You know, like, eat it, Joe's. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Or well, for Cincinnati, you know, Chico's Bell Bondsman. <laughs> Let me say <laughs> I shouldn't do that to them, man. But, hey, it did happen. So, once again, I'd like to know what your opinion is. Uh, leave me a message or a video response as to how do you feel that now they have authorized corporate logos to be put on practice jerseys. We already have, once again, we have the Giants, Denver Broncos, Detroit Lions, Green Bay Packers, Houston Texans, and the Tennessee Titans already doing that. The Giants are looking to hook up with state lotteries and such in order to get more money in. I'm looking at it like this. If they can get more money in and lower the ticket price, you know, for the average fan, you know, the diehard fans to come and check out a game, I'm with that. Uh, but if the prices are going to stay high and up like that, I don't know how many games I'm going to get to. Let me kick it back to me. I'm listening. This is Mr. Batch. Peace. Yo, I got knowledge that I get in my people Whether they black, African, Asian, Indian, Caucasian Or rock a Latin, man and woman know what's happening The answer is knowledge itself But who is asking this love that I get in my people Whether they black, African, Asian, Indian, Caucasian Or rock a Latin, man and woman know what's happening The answer is knowledge itself I tell these kids we're down to come to blunt and pick up a book